accessible roads are key to socio-economic development in any society. The current state of some roads in the Riyadh Local Council Development Area led the leadership to seek the intervention of the state government. The leadership prioritized the Navy Town Road and the Mumini Adio Road, which were in deplorable state due to their access to commercial locations, residences, and major business hubs. After deliberations between the state government and the council leadership, the state government approved and contracted the rehabilitation of the Navy Town and Mumini Adio Roads. A stakeholders meeting was organized by the council leadership in collaboration with the Ministry of Works and Infrastructure, Ministry of Physical Planning and Urban Development, to intimate residents on plans to make the road rehabilitation a success. Speaking at the meeting, the Commissioner of Physical Planning and Urban Development, Idris Salako, said one of the agendas of the state government is transportation and traffic management, hence the need to ensure quality and accessible roads in every society urging the community to take ownership of the project once it is completed. As we prepare for the construction of the Delivery Town, that is the Section 1 road, and only Mumuni and Joe Road, I can confidently say that the Ministry of Fiscal Planning and Local Development is equally set to deliver the right of way for the task covered and task force roads project, especially the same targets of this administration. At this junction, it is important to emphasize that for road development projects to be possible, the site must be delivered free of all encumbrances. And this is why, as custodians of the state of its development plans, the Ministry of Scar Planning and Urban Development has been silent with the onerous task of making development possible by establishing and improving the right of way for all state government projects. This definitely is not is another opportunity for stakeholders in only a day yesterday to own these projects and operate with us for their timely and successful execution. The special advisor to the governor, Works on Infrastructure, Aramide Adeyoye, gave an insight on what the community should expect after completion of the road, assuring that the construction will be completed in 15 months. She informed that the rehabilitation of the whole Ajar Road will begin once the just contracted ones are completed, as urgent patience and cooperation from residents. Ownership, ownership. Ownership starts from day one at Spiky Devil. And I'm glad that the large turnouts here, that we are hearing exactly what we have planned for you. From day one, you will take our ownership. So by the time we finish construction, we say it is your own, we are digging. You then know that nobody can come there and cut across the road. There is no reason to cut across the road. Because we have your dogs traditionally, traditionally, and have them at transfers. So if somebody tells you I want to come and lay one pipe, or tell them there is already a dog there, you don't need to cross the road across. So that's the kind of ownership we are talking. We are also talking about ownership in terms of vandalization, where you see people come with manuals, trying to steal the manuals. You should ask, this, this is not your own. Why are you taking them? You must be able to challenge. Because government does not have endless funds to keep replacing and replacing. And that's why the CDAs need to be alive to their responsibilities. They must, they must actually be able, be able to work. You must actually see what is happening around the locality. All at the end of this all, the benefit is for, is for all the other people. The, uh, Mr. Chairman, I congratulate you. It's a beginning of good things. The old order we've been praying for is almost here. The council chairman, Ramutala Yakinola Azan, appreciated the state government for the intervention and assured of the residents' cooperation to make the project a success.
community stalwarts and council management expressed delight with the project as they tested to the positive impact it will have on the LCDA once completed. It is the topmost of the Anyanis, you understand? With them now, they now know that government has considered them. To them, they feel that government is, you know, is involved in their, in, their, in, in, in their presence in the community of other communities. In fact, we are very happy, very, very happy, which I've expressed when I was addressing the house. Because uh, we've been suffering along this area. Like last Wednesday when I went out, I didn't get to my house until 9 o'clock because of the bad road. You know, there was heavy damper. My car was soaked even up to the half of the something. It was rather unfortunate that this type of thing can happen in this area. When this area was designed by the federal government, it was meant for light vehicle, smaller vehicle. But now that tankers and uh, uh, containers are coming in, they spoil the road for us. So we are very happy to receive this news. I've expressed it over there that we really appreciate the governor for what he has done. It's an awesome development and it's a welcome development. And it's a blessing to this local government at this point in time. You quite agree with me that one of the basic infrastructure the state is embanking upon in, in this recent time is the construction, massive construction of roads. And this is a community that is lacking that infrastructure. And we thank God for the governor that we have now for his quick intervention in giving the approval for the reconstruction or the rehabilitation of the two major roads as mentioned in the course of the program. It's a laudable project and it's going to bring a lot of economic I um, mean, improvement into this environment. You can see the impact we are feeling from the tank farm operators, the rate they are, the, I, mean, the, I mean, they are destroying the road, making the road dilapidated. But with what we've heard from the peers, from the SC, that the, the road is going to be a rigid road that is going to be well constructed to take care of all these heavy duty trucks. So it's a laudable project and we really want to commend the state government for all this. The roads, once completed, will boost socioeconomic activities and raise the standard of living in the LCDA.